Top story we've been following all morning, a massive fire overnight smoldering right now, and it leave, it's leaving a downtown building in need of demolishing. Fire happened just after midnight at an old furniture warehouse at Forsyth Street and Jefferson Street. Now let's take a look at a new photo sent to us on Facebook. This is from wow. Tyler Barney. He said that he took the photo at about 12.30 a.m. The building is a complete loss, as we've been mentioning, and it will need to be demolished. Until that happens, parts of Forsyth Street will remain closed. Channel 4's Chris Bruno is joining us live from downtown with a lot more. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Marcus. Firefighters still out here, still cleaning up this situation, trying to keep any hot spots from smoldering back up and reigniting what was a massive fire in the early morning hours this morning. Firefighters actually couldn't get inside of the building to fight the fire because the roof had collapsed by the time they got out here and they were worried that the entire building would. As it was, the third floor of the building did collapse. Firefighters were worried that the second floor might come down and that's why Fire Chief Marty Centerfit has requested that this building be demolished. Firefighters right now still using the ladder trucks that they had brought out here. It was actually half of the ladder companies in Jacksonville that came out here to fight this fire early this morning. Three of them still on scene putting a lot of water on the walls of this old warehouse and on what was the inside of this old warehouse. And as they put water on the exterior walls, much of the brick is collapsing and coming down which is why roadways are closed in this area. Forsyth Street, Jefferson Street, and parts of Bay Street in this area closed because of the worries that cars driving by might be hit by parts of this building as it collapses. You know, this building, even though you see brick on the outside, it's a uh, wooden building surrounded with brick. And right now, the only thing holding the, the bricks up are gravity. The roof is gone, the truss system is gone, the walls are gone. So we've got everybody backed up uh, 150 feet away from the building. And our expectation is sometime this evening, the rest of the building will fall in. JFRD still keeping people some distance away. If you can see behind me, just over my right shoulder, that ladder company putting water on the side of the building. A lot of the brick coming off with it as they do put the water on there. So that's, again, part of the reason why roadways in this area are closed and will remain closed until this building can be demolished, hopefully, at some point this weekend. As of right now, no word on a cause of this fire, but the state fire marshal's office is out here and investigating. We're live downtown this morning on Chris Parento, Channel 4, The Local Station.